Right, so uh, the first cause argument, Mr C, tell me something about that. Yeah, well this is another argument uh, for the existence of God and it's done by St Thomas Aquinas. So Tommy has come up with another one here and it's Good. all about the universe. Okay, so the existence of the universe some way through his logic uh, proves that God exists. Okay. It's sometimes also known as the cosmological argument, okay? But in our syllabus, it's called the first cause argument. And it's, it basically goes like this. Everything that exists, okay, has to have a cause. So yourself, myself, we all had causes, our mums and dad. So everything has a cause. Now, the universe exists, so therefore it too must have had a cause. Yeah, that makes sense. Something must have brought it into existence. Mm. Now, the issue is that we are finite beings that that means we come in and out of existence so we can't be the cause of the universe there has to be something which is not a finite being okay something that has to be eternal and something that could have caused it therefore okay and not needed to be caused itself right so when we look around logically aquinas then says okay so there has to be something et eternal and it couldn't have been caused by anything else. So therefore, it has to be God because God is eternal and he is the cause of the universe. And therefore, because the universe exists, God also must exist. Okay, so it feels quite complicated, but actually when you put it like that, it's straightforward. Can I also just point out that sometimes people find it useful to think of dominoes? Oh, yeah. If you line up all your dominoes in a domino rally, uh, something causes them to fall down. Now, you might only see the end domino fall down, but the one before yeah. it fell to make it fall that's and so right. on. So there has to be a first cause for the dominoes to start falling down. And that's when you push them. And so for Christians and Thomas Aquinas, there had to be a first cause for the start, obviously, of the universe. And for him that obviously logically had to be God. Now, there are arguments against that. Yeah, okay, I think I can probably think of one, Go definitely. On. Yeah. I was gonna say, well, if you need something to cause the dominoes to fall over, or to cause the universe, what caused God, Mr. C? Good, okay, so that's one of the, the really strong arguments against this, okay? If you're gonna use this idea of causation, Therefore, why doesn't God also have to have a cause? So that's a really good one to use, all right? Yeah. Another one you can use is, why couldn't the universe just have always existed? Why does it have had to have come into, into existence? Why couldn't it have just always been there? That's another one you could have used. Good one, yeah. And don't forget the scientific theory about how the universe came to be, the Big Bang Theory. In that, you have no need for God at all. Not at all? No, not at all. Oh dear.